Welcome back to Live at 430. Time for Ask the Expert right now. Summer peak season for fruits and vegetables. Uh, but what if your kids don't want to eat them or your adults? <laughs> <laughs> that is, can be a problem. But joining us now to talk about different approaches to eating healthy is Jenny Krause from Children's Hospital. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Jenny, this is a real challenge for so many it parents. Is, yeah. And, you know, what do families do? What do you think is the yeah. best way to get your child to appreciate vegetables? So, right, there's a lot of different approaches, but what I usually encourage is to get them more involved. So get them involved uh -huh. in the shopping, the planning, the preparation, so, uh -huh. and make it fun and enjoyable for them. Getting kids that's, involved in the kitchen, good. though, mm -hmm. with knives and everything else that is yes. involved in kitchen work uh, can be a little dangerous, so how yeah. do you do it? So there's something for everyone. So little mm -hmm. kids, you know, have two-year-olds, mm -hmm. they can add ingredients, they can stir, you know, so there's something for them. Older kids can um, scrub vegetables, so you use a oh, scrub brush, and actually they make knives that are a little safer oh, for those kids, look very safe. like yeah. starter knives. You yeah, know, we'll just try to cut ourselves. Obviously, obviously you still want to oh, supervise, yeah. 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 but they are better but than using less, traditional knives. Less chance a of safer. being dangerous. Yeah. Now, what about parents? Like some people like to hide vegetables and yes. smoothies and things in that. Yes. Is that? A, do you advise that? We don't. So we oh. really encourage you to show the kids their vegetables that they're eating um, oh. so that you're very upfront about it. Smoothies can be a fun way to try fruits and vegetables, but yeah. again, we want to involve them. So they should add things to the blender. They should know what's in there. And oh. then that should be just one of many ways that they try them. So they should also be on their plate in other food items. What if you have a kid, you know, just wants a grilled cheese and, and doesn't want any of these? I mean, you were saying don't force them to do yeah. it, but you know, I guess convince them to. Put or? it on their plate, yeah. model eating it yourself, talk about what it tastes yeah. like, what it looks like, make it a positive, fun experience for them. It takes sometimes 10 to 20 exposures mm -hmm. for kids to really appreciate. I foods. think what you say, you know, be a role model because yeah. kids will emulate you. Absolutely. Unless, you know, there's a summer fa family challenge yes. that is coming up. Now tell us about this. Yeah. This sounds really cool. Yes, it is. So, Mission Healthy Kids, which is our partnership with Coles Cares and Children's Hospital, uh -huh. is hosting this challenge. So it okay. runs from July 15th to August 15th, and families can sign up for a 10-day window where they mm. sort of compete mm -hmm. as a family um, for different oh. challenges. And if you uh, join, you can win some fun prizes like fitness trackers or state parks passes or oh. meal delivery systems. So, so are they looking at their calorie intake or kind no, of what they eat? No, no, no. It's oh. about eating consistent meals, about avoiding sugary drinks, getting active, and all of that as a family. That's so. Good. And yeah. I like the way you say get the kids involved because yes. kids, if they feel they're a part of it, then they feel they're invested right. and yeah. they get excited yeah, about it. Yeah, absolutely. And you get to do that with your kids, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. We went, to the, we went to the farmer's market yesterday, so we picked out some of these things. These oh, and those are carrots, beautiful. So. Wow. Yep. so missionhealthykids.org to sign up for that challenge. Well, well, Jenny, yep, more thanks for coming in. We appreciate yes, it. Yes, thank you so much. Good advice. If you've got a question for our experts, just email them at asktheexpert at tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. The number is 967-5253. Yeah.